with this rash on my chest, like being like, did I just get abducted? Like, did I get abducted? Like, it's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Back with another one. Super excited for this one today, to be honest, uh, because it's a chopped cheese sandwich, and I've been meaning to make uh, chopped cheese for a long time. It's a little bit of a twist, a rendition, mainly because I went grocery shopping, intended to make tacos, and screwed up along the way. So I decided I'll do it like this. Okay, cool. So we've got three of the homemade chopped cheeses, and uh, if you're gonna have like some, you know, kind of low down bodega esque you know east coast type sandwich vibe just throw some some plain chips on her of course we got the dr p i'm gonna crack into these lay them out in the back and then uh, pour up okay to the subscriber who said like uh about i don't know two weeks ago clear cups for the pour up i got your family i reached out to the good people at amazon and procured uh, six of them, but because the mailman was so damn aggressive with dropping the box at the door It turns out to only be three because three of them cracked I'm not that serious about it. They were like ten bucks three is fine with me. I don't need six to be honest uh, It kind of messes with my minimalism feng shui if you will and uh, Three three will do just fine. Uh, it sucks that you know my order was compromised to some degree, but Hey man, this is life, okay? Sometimes your cup breaks, but you have to make the, the decision in that moment. Is it half full or half empty? You know? Probably half empty because it's broken and leaking. But, you know, we need to mend and repair and be okay with these things. Okay. All right. So, these are chopped cheeses, and there's so much going on, on this board, I don't even know how I'm going to operate. Uh, let me pull out my trusty spoon that I brought for spooning on some extra. Um, as you can see, there's already sauce in them, but we're going to spoon on extra. So I'm just going to have to move these a bit, I think, off to the side. Just so I have like some eating space. Maybe I'll put them up front for you guys to, uh, to gander over. deep in the front and then just spread the chips to the side oh my god dude this is craziness this is so much food okay i'm honestly so starving i just need to get to a bite and i've been just fantasizing about these for so long So if you guys don't know what a chopped cheese is, just Google it pretty much. But essentially, it's like a standard burger on like a sub bun. Um, and it's like done so the beef is like chopped instead of a patty. It's just like chopped on the flat top on the grill. And it gets like nice and crispy. And then it has onions, which I put in mine as well. Little diced up onions. And then it's just dressed like a burger. And, uh, and then I'm pretty sure it gets like a soft white roll, most usually. I didn't have a soft white roll. I just had brought some bread, not intending to do this. And then it just kind of came in handy in this moment, so. Anyways. I say we just get to a bite. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. That is so good. Okay. Wow. That is so good. So I was super conflicted actually about toasting it or not, but I kind of like it soft. I'm down with it soft. I was going to grill it off maybe, but 
it is good, very soft. So, my stupid ass was craving tacos the other day. Went to the grocery store. Got everything that you would need to make a taco. And they also grabbed some bread. Just to have. And, uh, I get home start getting things ready to make the tacos I forgot to buy taco shells that is the worst when you go to a store with a game plan you're craving While you're in the grocery store, you're literally having like a little party in your head, like thinking about you eating what you're about to make at home. Get it all. Get home. Forgot like the most key ingredient, a taco shell. Like you need a taco shell to make tacos. Let's just be real and honest with ourselves. See, this is why it's called chopped cheese. Because the beef is like chopped. It's not in like a patty form. It's almost like taco beef, but you don't season it like that. So, I saw the bread had all the other ingredients had pickles in the fridge because gotta have pickles in the fridge and uh, so I just laid the beef out like I chopped it all up and made it like nice laid it out into a huge patty salt pepper the shit out of one side and then dice like onions tiny and mash it into the actual patty I heated a pan up to like hot 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 popped it in <coughs> got it nice and like um, Maillard nice and crusty Got it all chopped up and chunked out nice and small. Threw in shredded cheese. Blended in in the beef. And then after I added a cheese slice as well. And then these pickles are kosher dills. They're called Clausen. I'm so happy to have them at my... At my beck and call now because... I didn't used to be able to get them in Toronto and... They honestly make... A burger just so much better. I can't even tell you how much better they just they make a burger. All right, gotta do the old smush technique. And for this bite, we're gonna get a little cocky on the sauce. Cause why not, my guy? One for you. One for me. That's the problem with this though, there's all this extra crumble laying around. Ever just dip a uh, chip in ketchup? It's all right. Though it's more actually a ketchup chip, it doesn't taste like a ketchup chip.
Yes, oh yes, oh yes. Should we talk about these aliens or what? It's actually interesting because at work today, I was listening to Joe Rogan and Dan Aykroyd on his podcast. And uh, the, the whole thing they, they were talking about aliens and UFOs and abductions. And all the history of like the most crazy, the most crazy ones, like the deepest, most like credible stories. And it gets deep. I have my own light little story that I'll tell you. Um, when I was like 12, 11 or 12, like I always slept with pajamas on, obviously, like as a kid. As you do, as you get older, sleeping in the nude is the best. Never once, except for this one time, in the history of me sleeping with pajamas on, like, did I ever, like, I never slept, walked, I never was, like, restless in my sleep. And with, like, take off any, any articles in my pajamas, like, I always woke up with the same thing I put on. So one night, I just remember I like jolted awake in bed. Um, my bed, put on my bed, face looking out a window, and the window didn't have a blind or anything. It was always just open. I jolted awake and my shirt, my like pajama shirt was off and on my chest from my neck to my stomach was like red, like almost like scratch marks. And it kind of felt like a rash. And it kind of felt like burning sensation. So like I ran up, go into the bathroom, like look at it. I'm like, I was super confused and I felt like really like terrified and weird. And I looked in the mirror, I looked at it. And I was like, what happened to me? Like, what, why is my shirt off? And why do I have like this rash? And like scratch marks all down like from my throat to my like almost my belly, like lower than my belly button. So I considered, I debated going to my dad's room and showing him because how do you explain that? You just wake out of sleep and you're all rashed out and your shirt's off and like you didn't get up and do anything you don't really remember you know you just woke up and that's kind of weird so I considered going to my dad's room and then I didn't I decided against it I went back to bed but when I laid back in bed I looked out the window and smack dab in the middle out of the window, like in the dark night, there was like the moon over here, no other stars in the sky, nothing, just the moon and blank sky. And trust me, it wasn't Venus, 
by the moon. I know what I'm like looking at Venus looks like. It was just like there was like this like circular like orb out the window. Almost as if it was like watching me. And I looked at it for I don't know, five minutes. Just watching it. It was kind of bobbing in the distance. And then just gone. So I laid in bed like with this rash on my chest, like being like Did I just get abducted? Like, did I get abducted? Like I don't have any traumatic memories or anything. I don't have anything beyond that. It was just a weird ass moment of waking up out of my sleep. I don't sleepwalk. I've never had an issue. Every every night for like years of my life, I've gone to bed with with pajamas on and woke up with my pajamas on. But in this night in specific, I bolted awake in fear with my shirt off and like this scratching and rash. And then the orb about the window. So I was like, this is strange. Nothing ever since in my life has ever happened. But, um, you know, I don't want to go too deep into the idea of like me talking about other people's like experiences, but I've gone deep into like sightings on YouTube and I've watched all the videos of like, or like, you know, people in like Arizona is a big place. Um, just, you know, taking footage of like very obvious, crazy moving spaceship, like UFO orb type stuff. And I've gone down rabbit holes and I guess to sum it up real quick, like, of course I believe in aliens. Um, just like, how, how, how can you not? If there's all that out there, all those planets, galaxies, just, of course, they just, there has to be. I'm sure the universe is packed with life, packed with in more intelligent life than us. And um, I guess I'll say one quick little thought in regards to the alien stuff and, or like a theory that I've heard that kind of makes a little sense to me is like, well, two things. The reason why they were so prevalent in the sightings and stuff back in like the war time was obviously because they were coming to be like, are these people going to... Is, is this civilization gonna murder themselves out or, or screw some shit up in the for the on a galactic level? So they came down to see like what was going on with like the, the the nuclear stuff, and then outside of that, I've also heard like, sure we're probably like evolved from like apes and that, but maybe when we were in that state. There was like an intervene, like an intervention between them and the ape, and they, we were we were kind of like genetically altered to become what we are now. So maybe we are even part alien, like a hybrid, and potentially. We're kind of like their science project in a sense, like a petri dish. Like they came and kind of messed with the t the petri dish and created like a more advanced ape. And now they're just kind of like from a distance, seeing what occurs and. come by every once in a while for whatever reasons keep things uh, under control maybe maybe they're pulling strings more than we know because as far as I'm concerned like presidents and all the people that lead countries are all just puppets for something much more in control mm, just theories though but I could see it as possible, to be honest. If they're that advanced, then of course they would have 
the ability to kind of come and go as they please relatively undetected you know it's just it's very very possible anything's possible possible because essentially i live my life by the fact that beyond me talking to this camera and making this sandwich i don't really know anything i've never been to space i've never seen god i've never actually met an alien like I really don't know. I've never been further than the clouds. Like, I was, like you know, I've never been further than the atmosphere. I've never seen space. I don't even know what's actually even out there. I don't even know if space really exists. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure it does, obviously, but I'm just saying. The way I look at things is like, until I go to space and, like, see it, I don't know. It's just like, it's kind of like the Truman Show. It's like he believes this is his life. And it's all genuine and real. But then one day he finds out he's on the set of a TV show. And his whole life has been a fake broadcasted show to the, the rest of the actual world. That's kind of how I feel about my beliefs and things. Like, until proven otherwise, I feel like I'm being duped a lot of the time. And that something much different is actually occurring than what I'm being told. So, like, when he gets to the end, edge of the set and he finds out, like, it's a wall and he can leave the door... That's kind of like where it's like until I go to space or something and like leave the set and then be like, oh, okay. So they're so they are telling the truth. Then I'll know, but I, I don't know. And I don't blindly, I just, I'm not, I don't live life anymore just blindly believing what people tell me. I just try to follow my intuition. My inner compass, my inner guide. And stay true to myself. That's pretty much it. But I do believe in aliens, 100%. I don't even want to call them aliens. I just want to call them like other galactic beings, like other forms of life that are intelligent. Like I don't, I just, the word aliens is so, do you know how many, how many alien things are on this planet? Like have you ever looked at a, an insect, a spider? Have you ever just look at the, look at the rainforest. There's, Aliens upon aliens upon aliens in the rainforest, in the sea. There's aliens fucking everywhere on this planet. <laughs> Crazy bugs are alien to me as a human. You know what I mean? But I'm full AF, and that's my thoughts on that. Um, probably in a video where I don't eat, I could probably just like elaborate way further and have like a better edited down version. But those are my immediate go-to kind of just commentary things on the topic and the idea. So those are kind of my mainstay arenas, but there's obviously so much more to talk about. But yeah. Telling us when you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay a true.